Hi everyone, welcome back. And today I'm going to be talking about the Cierzo shirt from TRC Outdoors, which is this little baby right here. Okay then, so the Cierzo shirt, bit of a strange name, isn't it? So it's what we used to call in the military is a parasilk top, basically. Uh, and the parasilk tops, what they were and what they still are, uh, old cargo parachutes. And basically the guys hand the, the old parasilk into discarded knackered parachutes into a rigger and they make them up like a basically a little windproof top. Um, they're quite handy bits of kit as you can see really super light mega lightweight uh, really small and compact and what they're good for is just as an extra base layer or over the top of your kit if you're stopping after you've been tabbing for a while to keep the wind off you you know so you may not have time to dig into your Bergen or your day sack to get your warm kit on because you may only be stopping for five ten minutes um, you know you've got to still cover your arts and stuff one of these things you can just chuck, chuck it over the top of your kit and it'll keep the wind off and it'll keep the heat in to a degree as well uh, and like I say the, the, the main thing about this sort of thing is it's so compact and light you can stuff this into your kit and you won't even know it's there you know um, and yet you've got an extra layer there just to you know improve your conditions when you're out in the field so TRC Outdoors then they're a UK veteran owned company um, they make a uh, fairly limited amount of kit, they're just bits and pieces at the moment, but there are some quite interesting stuff on their website. Um, I found their customer service to be really good. Um, so yeah, worth checking out anyway. So this thing here, the Cierzo shirt itself then, as you can see, super compact, and what I'll do is I'll get my phone out and I'll show you, nice little sticker there on my phone. So that's an iPhone 7, I know it's a bit retro, and quite small not much bigger than a mobile phone obviously a little bit thicker <laughs> but not that big so nice and compact uh, this thing only weighs 150 grams okay um, so that's for the standard size they do a long size as well which is designed for people over six feet and that's 170 grams but you know really small really compact so as I said you can you can kind of stuff that in your kit you won't even know it's there um, so this one here then as you can see, I've got this in this colour here. This is the old American night camouflage. I think that came around in the sort of early 90s or something like that. Quite an interesting colour. And that's what colour the actual jacket is as well. You see, I'll just pull it straight out there. So there's the actual jacket. And it's a really simple design, okay? So the idea of this is it's got no frills whatsoever. It's just got everything in it you need for a, a real lightweight layer. So there's no pockets in it, nothing like that. There's a hood, so you can chuck it over the top of your head to sort of like keep the warmth in over your head. But there's no pockets or anything like that. And like I say, this is the uh, the old American night camouflage. Um, this is available also in black, like a coyote brown, and um, in multi cam as well. But what I wanted to go for is something that wasn't blatantly military, but it still kind of would allow you to kind of blend into the background slightly if you was wearing it's still like the right sort of colours if you're in like a woodland environment so yeah quite good like that it's got some really good um, work so good workmanship on the, the seams and stuff it's got an elasticated hem along the bottom there that you can see um, and you can see there that the stitching's really good good quality it's got a little Union Jack sign on it there which is nice obviously as well um, and the same sort of thing is on the cuffs too okay so nice workmanship on that and you can see that that's that's quite quality gear there so um, what I'll do is I'll chuck it on okay so wearing the jacket now then you can see it's nice and big and baggy as I said it's it's good as an extra layer that you can just chuck over the top of your jacket if you've stopped when you're out on the hills tabbing stuff like that and I can already feel this is starting to warm me up slightly okay um, the material itself then this is uh, 30 denier nylon and even though it does keep the wind off it's not like a crisp packet it's not like you know like the old crisp packet waterproofs you used to get in the army many years ago that just holds the um, holds the moisture in it's not particularly permeable as such but it's it's also it's not totally 100 percent you know holding the moisture in or anything like that but what it is good for is just holding that heat in a little bit and like i say i can feel that already um no frills, like I say, no pockets or anything like that. It has got a hood on it, and um, you know, Pararage don't wear hoods, but for purposes of this video, I'll just chuck that on there. You can see it's a massive, massive hood, okay? 
you could put that underneath for like climbing helmet, something like that. But you know, I'm not going to wear the hood because I'm not a screamer. All right. So let's say nice and basic. I'll just turn around and show you the back and stuff. You see there, you know that 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 colour there would actually blend in if I just like started hiding myself away like some sort of flipping pest in the woods. Um, and yeah, good good sort of layer for you can use it for running. So if you was out just running in, in, in sort of windy, cold weather, you could use it when you're tabbing. Um, you could use it like when you're out on the hills on real bad weather and stuff like that. I wouldn't use it as a replacement for a waterproof jacket, but if you were caught out in the shower and you maybe only had a short way to go, if you was only out for say half a day or something, you could chuck it on and it will keep a certain amount of moisture off. You can treat these with Nick Wax, which will improve the waterproof um, aspects of it but I wouldn't trust this just as a waterproof jacket itself. The other thing that I, I think this would be quite useful for would be a bug out bag. Okay, so all, all the people out there that put together bug out bags, preppers and stuff like that, because of the size and weight, how compact this is, then it's a perfect extra layer to chuck in your bug out bag. Especially if you've got like a separate grab bag, um, like I, I've got on my bug out bag system. You could chuck it in there, you could squeeze this into virtually any space. You could even put it in your pocket if you needed to. And you've got an extra layer there that's just going to help make your life a little bit more comfortable when you're cutting around the woods. Okay then, with the jacket, you do get a little sort of carry bag thing here in the same colour. Um, what I've done with mine is I've tied it to the label inside, okay? And basically what I've done there is I've copied what uh, I saw on a video on YouTube from Outdoor Basics. Stuart done that with his and I thought, you know, what a cracking little idea. Because this little bag here, because it weighs so little, and because it is quite small, um, there's a good chance when you've chucked this thing on, that could go diffy somewhere. So with that being tied on there, you're never going to lose it. And all you're going to do is just stuff that thing back away in the bag itself. And it's attached to it. Okay, so there we go, back in the bag already. Good to go. let say, real nice and compact weighs virtually nothing, 150 grams, you know, stuff that away in your bag, you don't even know it's there. Okay then, so just a bit of conclusion on the Ciezo shirt from TRC Outdoors then. Um, I think it's a great little addition to your kit. It's one of those things that you can just stuff in and forget about it, um, and you probably will be chuffed that you've got it on certain days where the weather's changeable and stuff like that, like it is always in the UK, all right? Um, for suggestions on improving it, the only thing that I would say would be nice on that is maybe like a little pocket along the front, along the belly sort of thing. Um, so you can maybe stick your hands in there. And the other thing that could be used for is stowing it away in itself so you haven't got a separate bag. But I totally understand that what they've gone for is a totally minimalist um, approach to that jacket to make it as small and lightweight as possible. So totally understand that approach. Um, so this thing, if you do fancy having a look at one, is available on TRC Outdoors website. And I believe they're something in the region of £42.50 for one of those. And I said they come in four colours. So multi-cam, night cam, coyote brown and black. So you've got all sorts of bases covered there for sort of just standard low-key colours up to camouflage use for military. Okay then, so hopefully, hopefully you've uh, got something out of today. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And we'll be seeing you again soon. Cheers.